Hey guys, welcome back to Parker's Tutorials. This week we have a big build planned, and that would be a Bioshock drill arm. An old electric screwdriver, regular poster board, foam core poster board, a piece of skinny thin PVC pipe, foam pipe insulation, plaster bandages, L brackets, an X-Acto knife, a piece of felt, a hacksaw, blood, sweat, tears, and miscellaneous plastic parts. The first step in this project is to be making the cone that will be your drill bit. Take two pieces of poster board and make the shape of an unfolded cone. This cone was a pain in the ass to make, but once it all came together, I used tape to hold it together. Next, cut a circle of foam core poster board, the diameter of the cone. Next, insert a piece of small, thin PVC and make sure the end is at the point of the cone. Hot glue everything into place. Now we're gonna create a holder for the drill. Take a piece of foam core and cut a circle in which the diameter is one inch bigger than the drill diameter. Next, create a long strip of regular poster board about two inches in width, then glue it around the big circle. Put those aside. We have the two parts the drill and the, the holder. But you'll see if, if we put it in here, there's a lot of you know drag, there's a lot of things that it can catch on. So what I did was I took uh, gray felt and I cut it to the shape, just put it over here, and then when we put it back in the holder, you'll see, and you can see that the movement is much more smooth I next took the electric screwdriver and took it apart. I wanted to change the position of the switch, so I soldered wires from the switch and wired a switch on the ends of the long cord. It should look like this once you're done with the electronics. Next, I took a plastic Clorox wipe container and traced it on poster board twice. These will act as bracers to hold the electric screwdriver inside of the container. I took the Clorox container and cut off the bottom and top parts so it was like a plastic tube. I took my two bracers and cut holes in them, the diameter of the electric screwdriver where I wanted the electric screwdriver to be placed inside of the Clorox container. I hot glued the braces inside of the Clorox container and inserted the electric screwdriver. I then hot glued it in place. Once mounted with hot glue, I used some L brackets on both the inside and outside for extra support. The rig works like this. I put a special kind of drill bit on the end of the electric screwdriver which fits snugly in the piece of PVC pipe in the big drill bit. Once the electric screwdriver is glued inside of the plastic container, the PVC should be inserted inside the hole and snap into the screwdriver. This may take a while to get perfect. I actually had to go through three of these arms before I finally got it right. I did a little test with the motion and it was right on. Next, using some plastic parts from other builds, I glued cool looking things all around the Clorox container. I used hot glue to attach everything. Make sure to take the paper wrapper off the Clorox container. Next, we're gonna work on the drill part. Cut a piece of foam pipe insulation and cut it in half. Then using hot glue, wrap it around the drill bit multiple times. Next, use plaster bandages and apply smoothly over the foam and poster board. This will give it strength and you can add details with the plaster. I tested out the drill to see if it would still fit inside the holder and spin. Success! Next, I added another tube for my forearm. This will also be where the switch is. So I used hot glue to attach it in the tube where it could easily be pressed with my thumb. Next, using foam core I created another bracer and used a cardboard tube a bit bigger than my forearm and hot glued it to the bracer. After that, test it out again to see if you can comfortably press the button inside. Another success! For the paint job I painted the actual big drill bit a dark gray with brown mixed in to simulate rust. Then I added little brown and red streaks to represent rust and blood. Next I painted the body of the arm flat black added some silver bits, weathered it with sandpaper, and I was finally done. Here's what the final product should look like. Oh my god, this project was so hard. My favorite. Oh, all the mail's here. Um, I'm gonna go get the mail. Right. Hey! Holy crap! Dude, hi, what's up, dude? Hey, Mustafa. Dude, I, I found this magazine. It's a Sky Mall magazine. Do you want to check it out? Sure. 
Dude, sweet. What am I supposed to do with this? So, look at page six, dude. Page six. What is this? It's a drill arm. Yeah, it's a Bioshock drill arm, dude. Do you want to buy it for me? I'll think about it, okay? Now, I gotta go back inside. Thank you. Okay, okay. See ya. What the hell are you doing in my house? Get out of here! Dude. It's fine, dude. Dude, dude. I didn't even see you there, dude. It's fine. He ate my lunch. Damn neighbor. Hello? Sky Mall? What do you want? Dude, I'm really sorry about the other day. I, I'm sorry that I ate your food. I'm sorry, dude. It's, it's fine, but what, what do you want? Did you get the drill arm? Hang on one minute. You bet I got it! Oh. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode where we learned how to build a Bioshock drill arm. And I will see you next week with a brand new episode. Yeah, okay. Bye guys!